Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time, we made it inside the sunken Hyrule Castle. Did a puzzle for babies. Killed a bunch of boys. And today, we're going to be doing some more side questing. But these ones are pretty fun and pretty useful. If you like being fun and useful, if you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. First things first, boop. Wind Waker time. Oops. It's been a hot man since I've used a Wind Waker. I'm sorry. I forgot how to play music. Alright. So we're going to change our wind to wind to the northwest. I'm going to meet up with... I don't know if I'd call them a buddy. They will become one. You'll understand. But we're headed northwest. We are in the middle of where the Triangle Islands were. Are? I guess they're technically still there. So we'll be doing a little bit of exploring. But first, is this the thing I think this is? Hold on a second. I don't think this is the one that I want. But I am distracted, and I will... Honor every distraction. The boat's like, come on, dude. We don't have time for this. Get in the boat. Oh, wait. What is this? Hello? Ooh. Can I only buy this with an empty bottle? Or does this give me an empty bottle? All right, so the game is very cheeky. I, I'm on to you, Beetle, you butthole. All right, so ignore that. That didn't happen. All right, back in the boat. Whoop. All right, hopefully this is still taking me... Northwest? Yes, all right. So we need to be going this way. The square we were in presently is the Tower of the Gods square, as you can see. The Triangle Islands are the ones that are in the middle of... Can I just show you? Uh, so we're going here. This is where one of the Triangle Islands was. This is where the other one was, and this is where the final one is. So, enjoying my abuse of English and using present and past tense in the same sentence. Alright, great. And future tense. I think I used all three improperly. Heck yeah. This is what I'm looking for. Normally you don't want to get swept up in these, but now that we got the bow, we're heading right for it. Yeah. I'm ready for you, buddy. Get your bow out. And uh, start sniping this boy. If you can. Well, that hit him. This is Cyclos, I think, or Zephos. Hitting him three times, right in the old noggin. Can only do this once you have the bow, otherwise you'll just get launched all around the Great Sea. He is gigantic. That's what she said. Alright. Heck of an army you got there, also what she said. Oh now he's all a little boy. He's got like a little Nimbus cloud, like, Goka. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. I guess you don't really have to be accurate, I think it just kind of whips the arrow into where he is? But this is important, you'll want this. This basically opens up the rest of the game. I would... I'd be willing to say this is the best song. Also, is it gonna tell me what it is? I don't know what it is, I didn't see what he did. I was not paying attention, I think I was supposed to actually do what he, what the motions that he did. But I think I figured it out. Down, right, left, up. Hooray, the Ballad of Gales! Wahoo, indeed. Now, the reason why this is important is because you can warp around the Great Sea now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alright, so let's show that off for a second. 
Oops. Already screwed that up. Hooray, we're doing great. Nope. <laughs> Nobody ever said this would be easy. Alright, so that's the Battle of the Gales, done successfully after the third attempt. And as you can see now, we are able to warp to any of these, I believe, nine locations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So now there's nine locations that we can warp to where you can go to stop at any of them, which is really nice. And this will speed up basically all the exploring. I don't have all the map squares decided, and I probably won't do that just because it takes time, and I don't, you know, I'm, I'm kind of waffling about it. There's a lot of things you can do to 100% the game, and I just don't see myself doing that. Like all the, there's a trading quest that you can do. There is all kinds of this and that. But the first thing I do want to do is head back to good old Windfall Island. I'm kind of backtracking a little bit. There were some things that I could have done earlier in the game that I chose not to do. Not for any sort of practical reason. I would say my reasoning is there was a lot in the episodes that I'd already done and I didn't want to beef them up too much more. Although I would like to do this. What direction is this going? Where is my, where's my compass? Nope. Wow. You learn one new song, you forget every other one of them. Uh, uh, this? Did I just guess correctly the first try? You works, I did it. All right, there's a little island over there. And I don't know if this will work. But I've seen this for a while, and I'm just like, hmm. Oop, slow it down, slow it down. Whoa, no, 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 wait, stop, quit. Oh. I wish I could drown myself. For many reasons. All right, we'll try that again. We have double magic power viewers, so we're doing pretty okay. My goal here, after I attempt this one more time, at least one more time, I plan to do a little bit of side questing just to kind of tie up some loose ends before we move on and do more of the story. There we go. Can I get this? Uh, I see you. I see you, baby. Is this a bomb thing? Maybe. Oops. Okay, I don't know how to get that, actually. That's something I have never done before. Which is fine. We're actually going to be helping some people fall in love. You can call me a matchmaker. This is something I was going to do around the time that I got the Swift Sale, which was a long time ago. And I just didn't because reasons. So, today we're going to try that. First, I need to change the... Time of day. I need this because I don't remember what it is. Nope. Nope, I did that completely backwards. Holy smokes. We're going to need to remember this a little bit. You'll see in a moment what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, so it's time to play Cupid. You'll need the deluxe picto box to do this. So you'll have to have already gone and done the three things for the weird pervert. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna talk to this shy little lady over here. Her name's Linda. Hi, Linda. Very cute outfit. She got it from Outset Island. It was probably from Orca. He's got quite the fashion sense. Oh, it's she. Whatever. Oh, there is a lady who does that, all right. So, she learned about us. And she wants to have her photo taken using our picto box. Of course we can help her out. To the apple of her eye. So we will of course do that. 
Keep me out of this. I always get really flattered whenever somebody comes up to me and is like, hey, can you take my photo? Because, you know, I do feel like I've got a pretty good eye for photography. So, being a content producer and all, you know, I kind of got to. But anyway, we want to get a good photo of, of Linda and she wants to see her whole body. Give me that full body pic. So this looks pretty good. And a little bit of, you know, we're not really obeying the laws of photography. We're not doing the whole rule of thirds. Centering a photo would be bad. If you wanted to have like a really nice photo, you'd do something like this. All the killer bees are in the way. Or you could do something like this. You want to draw attention to the subject while also having a little bit of composition. So in the case of the game, it doesn't care about that. So I'm just going to go and do this. Picture acquired. Click, click. Okay, okay. So now that we have this photo, we want to take it to Anton, her muse. And doing so will convince him that he's got the skills to pay the bills in terms of love. So we need to go find Anton. Here he is. What's up, boy? I don't know her name, but boy, oh boy. That's a good way to start. I love you, but I don't know your name. You think I'm catching a cold? He's in love. Anton, how about this, my dude? What do you think? Is this her? Yeah, he's like, oh yeah. Also, don't call me buddy. That's actually a legitimate thing in my personal life. I really don't like people calling me buddy. For whatever reason, I associate buddy with somebody just trying to kind of demean you. Be like, what's up, buddy? Do you want a balloon? I don't like that. Don't call me buddy. Unless we're actually buddies. And then you can call me buddy. It's more of a thing that I call, like, children. My nephew. Call him buddy. But he's also five. So there you go. He'll never be happy with just a mere... Yeah, see, good. This is social skills. Don't be satisfied with what you see in 2D. Go for it in 3D with consent. All right, so he wants her to join him for some coffee, but he's not really feeling super confident yet. Does she have a steady fellow? Can I court her? We're going steady. Let's go to make out pier. All right, so after you show it to Anton, he needs a little bit of time to muster up the courage to do what he needs to do. So we're going to have a day pass and we're going to do the song of passing. Nope. I felt that as soon as I did it. Is that not it? Hold on. Is it? What am I doing? Song of passing is right, left, down. Holy smokes. I did the exact opposite of that. This episode could be called playing music poorly. All right, and one more time. One more look. <laughs> I was doing great when I had to do it a million times for the moon cycle quest. I did not I did not enjoy that actually. Okay. So that's good. Anton and Linda have now had time to get to know each other, to grab that cup of coffee. So let's go and see what sort of love we have created. Are they not in here? Hold on a second. You're supposed to be in here. Where are you? I thought, hold on. Have I done this incorrectly? Look at this person's weird forehead. All right, not interested in talking to you. I think maybe I jumped the gun on the quest. Hold on a second. I might need to go and actually talk to Anton again to see. I think the love maybe has not happened yet. So we need to go and stir the pot of love. Unless it didn't work, then I'll be annoyed. Maybe he'll come tomorrow. What do you mean? Maybe you have to do the song of passing twice? I love when I'm very confident in something, because I'm like, oh yeah, hey look, my notes, and then my notes are wrong. Very cool. Alright, Anton. 
Where are you? Where's your greasy cheeks at, buddy? I need to find you and... There you are. Why are you not in love? Okay. Do I have to talk to you again? Alright, so you had to talk to Anton twice. Who knew? Thanks, game. I really appreciate that. Okay. So just to save ourselves some time. Not really, because I would have to do this anyway, but you get the idea. We're just going to post up outside the coffee shop here. Whoop, and then we're going to do the Song of Passing. Just a quick look. Alright. Do this twice. Yeah, it never says in my notes, talk to this person four and a half times. It's okay. Viewers, we're doing fine. This is all windfall side quests anyway. We had some things I needed to wrap up, so... There's that. Let's try this again. It sure would be great if I could get this accomplished the first time. Alright, let's go have some hot coffee. There they are. There's our two lovers. Hey, guys. What's going on? Nice, man. You just talked to her. See, this is some advice that I actually will give you. Don't call me buddy. There's always the tale as old as time advice that people will say when you're in a circumstance trying to meet somebody new. Maybe you're going through a job interview. You're networking. Maybe you're looking for love. And there's advice that people will say, which is a little vague. Just be yourself. It's really bad advice. And I don't mean that in the sense that it is negative advice, but it is half-baked advice. Just be yourself. There's a little bit more to that. And I would say the enhanced version, which you can pay and see on my Patreon, okay, is be the best version of yourself. Now, being yourself isn't always the best thing, to be honest. Let's be completely candid here. Human beings are capable of being very flawed creatures, and a lot of times being yourself isn't always applicable or the best thing to do in that scenario. However, being the best version of yourself is. Be on your best behavior. Make sure that you're being respectful and aware of your circumstances. That's the key. There you go. All right, let's talk to Linda. Wow, that's a little quick. One coffee date and you're already dating. Also something I would not recommend. Take your time, get to know people. Don't be in any rush to jump into relationships that maybe you're not potentially ready for. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Love can wait. Every good relationship starts with friendship. Should start charging people for my advice. I'm giving it away for free. All right. So I think right now we are going to trade in some stuff with Teach. I, I want to say we can do this now, maybe. Where's the classroom at? This is what we've been saving up all those joy pendants for. I think this should work, maybe. Not 100% sure. Um, hello. We need to talk. Uh, do I just have to show it to you? Okay, maybe we need to get out the spoils bag and show her our 30 joy pendants. Oh man, we almost have enough to get a special thing from Orca. Lady! Yeah. That's right, we got you a pearl necklace. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're welcome. Well, good thing I have 30 of them. So she'll give you 20 rupees for one. Obviously, that's not what we're here for. We have many more that we would like her to take. Yeah. <laughs> Pay tribute? Okay, this isn't the Hunger Games. Take it easy there, creeper. Numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what joy is like. Oh yeah, we're getting that dopamine. This is an itch that not even social media can scratch. Alright. 
We got the cabana, dude. Yeah, so... She's clearly a high-end teacher. I don't know what you get for owning it, but this is a place that we traveled to previously. So... Make it your own bachelor pad, okay. Are you trying to launder money? I don't know if we can give her more of these. Okay. An onrush of joy. I don't like the I the sound of that. Okay, I don't... Do you get anything for this? Alright, so maybe nothing, but yeah, I mean, there isn't really any other way or need to deposit these things, I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but this sounds kind of good, I think. All right, so we have now gotten the cabana deed. We have helped out some lovers, and I think that there's stuff we can do here, but I'm a little hesitant to do what this is. His stall is not an instant success. He needs to go on an episode of Shark Tank. He only has one product. But he needs some rare items to put into stock. Candy from rich babies. Okay. A little strange. So, this is actually the beginning of a trade quest. Which you can do if you'd like. Um, not super interested in doing that right now. Maybe ever, I don't know, the trade quest is a little cumbersome and it just opens up some items that you can get there, which is fine. He'll have more things in stock. We'll potentially come back to that. But now that we have the cabana deed, we can go check that out. Also, one of the things I haven't done, which I would like to do if I could see what my buttons are. Let's go to the map. Meep. And I will check out Beetle's chart. We have a lot of treasure charts that I have not done anything with. So it looks like two to the left and one down will be the special Beetle shop. Yeah, see if we can do the uh, the Battle of Gales to get there faster. Oops. I think I probably should actually be in the boat for this. I don't know if it'll let you do this. We're gonna find out. Yeah, okay. The game's like, get in the boat, dummy. All right. Just jump in there, here we go. One more peek at it. Viewers, I'm learning, all right? <laughs> Not even close. All right, here we go. So we wanted to go two left and one down. This puts us Two left and one down. This is close enough. So we'll go here. This is very handy. I'm very glad that I was able to get this. This is probably one of the, the best things that you can do the moment you get the bow. It would be crazy not to. We're in the... What is this? Am I in the forest haven? Uh, oops. Oh, I'm in a fairy fountain. Okay. This was not intentional. Okay. Uh, well, if you need fairies, you can obviously come here. I did not mean to do this. Oops, sorry. It's like I walked in on someone naked. All right. Nope. Wow. This is like the first episode when I got the, the Wind Waker all together. I'm like, what am I doing? All right, so you can't go to whatever that is. We're going to warp to Tingle Island instead. And uh, we just need to go one to the left now. Which is fine. But yeah, if you need fairies, that's a good place for it. I'm still hoping I can get the other two bottles. I don't know where they are. but All right. And we will get out the Wind Waker. And we will sail to the west. And we will be looking for our boy Beetle, a special Beetle. 
And of course, along the way, if you are in need of any cash, which what we're about to do will deplete most of our money, I was convinced that there would be some sort of money along the way in the Tower of the Gods. Very wrong. Very, very wrong. But that's okay. There's a lot of these turret tower things. Not super interested in dealing with that. I just want to find Beetle. He's the man of the hour. There's little turret ships along the way just to kind of get on our nerves. He should be in this square. Is that his ship right there? It looks like it. Alright, so this is... Let's just cruise on over to it. He has a special collection of items that we are going to be interested in. This is a special beetle shop denoted by the helmet, I think, if I found the right one. And if I didn't, I'm dumb. Nope, this is the right one. Okay, here we go. Hello. A clearance sale, huh? MSRP, this is my last one. How much is this? 500 rupees. How much is this? So we will come back and get the bottle next time or another time. But realistically, Beetle will always be here. So you need 1400 rupees to get the rest of that stuff if you're interested. That's how you get another one of the bottles. So if you want that, I do. But for now, obviously, I don't have the cash monies. Ooh, what is this? This looks interesting to me. And I was going to call the episode quits, but... The game got me good. And there's a fish over there. So, here we go again. Always doing the things and stuff. I have a lot of hui pears. Where are you, fish? Get over here. I'm not, I say that I'm not going to 100% the game, and then as I do all these little distractions, like, it's just going to happen coincidentally anyway. Eat the food. See what kind of weird cryptic advice this guy can give. I don't think I have this square yet. Turd Island. Rock Spire Island? Okay. Great. Jillian? Are you into this weird stuff? You shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse. Oh, okay. I don't believe we have the ability to do that for a while. If what it's asking us to do is what I think. So I could be wrong. I want to take a peek at this really quick. No, 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 no. This looks like a bomb throwing mini game, maybe. I'm just going to give this just a little, a little kiss, a little viewers. All right, give you a little kiss just for fun. Can you do bomb arrows in this game? Maybe. No. OK, cool. Gotta get really good at throwing them. Yep. Or just falling off the side of the island. Nice. Successful first throw, though. Alright. And a whoop. Okay. I feel like you have to really be careful with these, though, because if you... That happens. I was going to say what happens, but I didn't need to because the game was like, you'll show it off just fine, you doofus. All right, here we go. So that is two rocks down. I am rock hard for the... No, okay. And... And one more. This one looks almost like it's floating. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It looks like there is a little... Little peephole down here. What's it say? Western Fairy Island. Head west. Wow. Who'd have thought? Let's pop down here really quick. While we're in the neighborhood. Whoa. 
What is this? I'm not getting myself into something that's long and hard, am I? Oop, didn't mean to do that. All right, well maybe we maybe we tease that. We'll start off the next episode with exploring this dark hole just to give you a little bit of mysticism. All right. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been the Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. You could like this video, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and watch the YouTube shorts and I'll see you next time for more. Bye.